गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन ऑब्जेक्ट ओरिएंटेड डिजाइन दिज आर दंटेंट्स फ्रॉम द चैप्टर नंबर सेवन फ्रॉम दैट वी हैव सीन दूच मेथड इन टूडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ कॉड एंड यॉर्डर मेथड एंड मेथड we have seen that uh, in last session about object oriented design and the characteristics of that design and then we have seen the bush method from the object oriented design we have seen the notations for that bush method and we have seen the example for that bush method for the class diagram and then we have seen that micro development process and macro development process from the bush methodology now in today's sessions we are going to continue with the cord and yordan method so yeah so this cord and yordan method this is only one model that describes static characteristics this is the model that can describe the static characteristics of object oriented analysis and design so generally this method is based upon uh, like information modeling object oriented programming languages knowledge based system so this method is a combination of this contains like information modeling we have to model that information like then we have to then we are going to use the object oriented programming languages knowledge based systems and in this diagram you can see that this cord and yordan model is the combination of er diagram then after that semantic data data modeling based on the diagram we are going to model that the data then object oriented programming languages and knowledge based systems so that this method is based on this this contents er diagram semantic data modeling and the object oriented programming languages and knowledge based systems so this is the concept of that uh, cord and yordan model here so that cord and yordan model use sosas technique so this methodology has its primary strength in the system analysis it is based on the technique called s o s a s that is subject o is for objects then s is for structures a is for attributes and s is for services so this uh, s o a s which stands for the five steps that help to make up the analysis part of their methodology so that first step is subjects so that subjects include data flow diagrams for objects yeah this first step is in the system analysis called the subject which are basically data flow diagrams for objects and that second step is objects so that object identifies classes and class hierarchies where they identify object classes and class hierarchies here and the third step is structures so here structures breaks down the structure into two types this two two types are classification structure and composition structure classification structure means handle the inheritance connection between related classes and composition structure means handles all the other connections among classes so this third type consists of or that uh, that structures third step is structures that breaks down the structure into two types the, these types are classification structure and composition structure and the next step that is fourth step is attributes so in that identify the properties and associations for every instance that means that uh, we have to identify that properties and the associations for that all the instances from that the design then last step is services that is we have to identify the object state and define services for accessing and modifying the state so here we have to identify the object state and we have to define the services for accessing and modifying that state so that where all the behaviors of that methods for each class are identified in the services state so these are the five steps of cord and yordan method yeah 
then the analysis of that chord and yarn define four parts that make up the design part of their methodology these are the steps of that system design like uh, the problem domain concept then human interaction component task management component and data management component so these are the four steps of system design in chord and yarn method here that uh, problem domain component this will define the classes that should be in the problem domain then in human interaction component we have to define the step defines the interface classes between the objects and task management component defines or where system wide management classes are identified in the task management component and the data management component this design step identifies the classes needed for the database access method in data management component this step identifies the classes that are needed for the database access then the notations used in the chord and yarn method so this is the first notation for object oriented analysis class and its objects this step consists of class and object and attributes and the services then see the next notation that is for the class symbol here it consists of class then attributes and services then see this notation this notation is used for generalization or in inheritance then next notation is the whole part this notation is used for the whole part structure that is aggregation then the association here you can see the instance connectivity from one to many see the representation of instance connectivity one to many then the transitions transitions between the instances or the classes here so these are the notations used in chord and yarn method here now we are going to see one example for the chord and yarn method with the case study from the college so this is the object modeling using chord and yarn method in this example you can see one class person and another one is college so here you can see the object is person here see the attributes and the services services from the that object or the classes here we can define the here class or object here person and the college here see the class or object name is person and here another one is college attributes person having attributes name address and the services like work time and change salary and college having attributes name address phone and the services like college has to hire this is the transitions here you can see this is the instance connectivity see here one to many works for okay then here you can see the classification or the generalization like person may be the principal or the staff then here you can see the instance connectivity between college and the department one to many one college is having many departments and here department manages here staff manages or department manages the staff okay this is the instance connectivity between the classes so this is a simple example of chord and yarn method for the college then next method is jacobson method jacobson et al method for object oriented software engineering so it is a software design technique object oriented software engineering is a software design technique that is used in software design in object oriented programming so that here object oriented software engineering is developed by ever jacobson in 1992 here object oriented software engineering is the first object oriented design methodology that employs use cases in software design this is the first methodology in that we can use that use cases or it employs use cases for a software design so the main objective of this method is the use case concept we have seen that use cases and the use case diagrams here object oriented software is the first object oriented methodology that uses the use cases so use cases describes the behavior of the system that is what does the system do and not how does it so use cases 
describes the behavior of the system that is what system is going to do not how that system is going to do this so here each use case specifies an operation or the function of the system so here in jacobson method this is the first object oriented design methodology that employs use cases in the software design and the main objective of this method is to use the use case concept then see the notations for this method notations of jacobson use case model here first notation is see the actor actor means who is performing the function see the notations for actor then the use notation for use case this is the use case notation that what system does what does the system do here then next notation is for communication between or communication or the relation between actors and the use cases this is the communication here communication or the relation between actors and use cases and fourth one notation is for the boundary that is system boundary that means it encloses all the use cases of the system yeah these are the notations for jacobson use case model so here jacobson use case model includes the requirements analysis designing and implementation and test models so here you can see the uses of use case model so that use case diagrams or that use case model consists of or it express the requirement model then structure by the analysis model then realize the design model here you can see and use case diagrams implemented by the implementation model and test by or the verified by the test model the requirement model consists of the problem domain object model then analysis model consists of analysis diagrams then the design model consists of the state state transition diagram and the interaction diagrams then that problem domain object model specified by the use case diagrams so this is the exam or the figure for the uses of use case model these are the uses of use case model how we can use that use case model it includes the requirements analysis design implementation and the test model here you can see requirement model analysis model design model implementation model and the test model yeah this is the jacobson use case model then jacobson's associated use case model with five other models that are like uh, requirement model that is domain object model then analysis model design model implementation model as well so that requirement model consists of like it shows the behavior of the system the requirement model shows the behavior of the system on both outside and inside here outside and inside means outside means actor and inside means use cases so that requirement model or the domain object model shows the behavior of the system from on the actor and the for the use case and next one is analysis model so in analysis model use cases are analyzed and the corresponding source code is written in analysis model we are going to analyze that use cases and the corresponding source code is written for that use cases then the design model it it defines the design of the system design model defines the design of the system then implementation model this implements the use case model as realize the design implementation model is going to implement the use case model then the last one is test model it is used for to test the realization of the use case model that is that uh, use case is tested by like it's okay or fail for the particular step okay so these are the five models that are described in the jacobson use cases use case model so that's it for today's session we will stop here thank you